Hey everyone, today we're going to Nafferton. Now Nafferton is a village um, just a couple of miles away from Driffield. Uh, you can walk here, you can get the train there. It has a train station for a village. Pretty unique, I think, is it? Maybe, maybe not. Pretty sure I can get a bus there as well, but I'm driving there today. So let's go and explore Nafferton. There we go, we made it. So yeah, let's explore Nafferton. Nafferton. So they've beaten me to it. Nafferton Village Hot Nafferton Village Heritage Trail. Information point. This bus shelter sits next to the information point and was constructed in 1951 to celebrate the Festival of Britain. Cracking stuff. Uh, All Saints Church, Village Hall, education in Nafferton. There's a primary school here. Oh, that's noteworthy. Prison of War Camp. Village of Nafferton had a prison of war camp that was sited next to the primary school and it's now been built over. Okay, Westfield Close now covers some of the area. The camp is a series of long wooden huts on brick foundations. Italian and German prisoners were allowed to work on local farms. The train station, a long paragraph about the train station. Today, people mistake the station building for a normal train station, but it is in fact a private house. In 1985, the station was given grade two listed building status. Fantastic. Methodist Chapel, Manor House, Sports and Recreation Club, the Village Shop, The Mere. Wartime past, a war memorial to the two world wars is set in the wall below the church. Every Armistice Day and ceremony is held to remember those who fell in both wars. The Mills of Nafferton. A heritage challenge. Hidden around the locations in this guide are some secret stones. Each hidden stone has a letter. Find each stone and collect all the letters and they will spell out a word. Wow. That genuinely sounds brilliant. See, this is what I'm looking for. And a sheep wash. Of course, Lubin's here with me and I think he's genuinely excited to check out the heritage trail. Hi, you, Lubes. Go on the Heritage Trail! Yes! Doesn't care. He's just happy to be out and about, which is fine, you know. So we're at the information point, so we need to head first to the Methodist Chapel. I'm invested in the Heritage Trail now, and we're going to find them stones and find a word, which is probably in Atherton. But let's give it a go. I have deliberately parked next to a pub, which we will go to later. Of course. I mean, it's going to be first to work finding these letters, isn't it? I must say it is a glorious day in East Yorkshire today. I, um, you'll probably notice that my face is glistening under the thick layer of Factor 50 that I am forced to wear. When any amount of sun comes out, um, Lupin doesn't mind the heat. Um, I don't take him out anything above 22, 21 degrees really, because. It's not very safe in little dog so I'm walking. So, Methodist Church, where are you? We well, found the Methodist Chapel. So apparently there's a stone here with a letter on it. And I mean where do I even start to look for it really? Cat. Um so I'm going to go up here, see if there's anything around the back that could possibly help us find the stone with a letter on it. I'm not going to go in and ask for it because I might not know what I'm on about. But let's go around the back. So there's not really much alluding to this heritage stone letter. Um, so we'll just um, knock that on the head to be honest to be honest I probably had to go in there and ask about it but I've got a dog so I'm not going to do that because I probably won't be allowed in with him which is fine you know? some places do some places don't um, so we're going to go down this little high street instead a recreation club I think this is the Central Business District of Nafferton. Got a shop, which is also a post office. 
Right, Nafferton is actually is quite a big village. Um, it's here we've got some fish and chip place. Just got open on a Sunday. Today's Sunday. But yeah, that's cool. A village having a chippy. Summer Eve, Nell's Beauty and Therapies. In a village. I mean, Nafferton is literally just like a little a small town, basically. Um, you don't often see nail bars and fish and chip shops in a village. Uh, a rectory close. Keep dogs on these at all times. Let's have a look up here. Interesting little path. I may randomly stop for a few seconds, just loop in. As you know from my drift fill video, likes to sniff everything for about five minutes, which is fine. And this goes to this rather lovely looking church. Not sure exactly what church it is, but Pretty nice little view of Nafferton from up here. This is very much also a graveyard too. Very, very old graves here. 1796. Wow. That is pretty old. This is a very, very old church. All right, there, loops. Is that a particularly fragrant bush? He's a good boy. Not much to apart from Lupin's end, to be honest. It's just a happy dog going on his adventures around the random little towns and villages of East Yorkshire. I may branch out further afield at some point. We'll see how it goes. Hey, Lupin. You're a good boy. So there's a pretty huge pond down here with a lot of ducks. Nafferton Millennium Committee, 97 to 2017. Don't go down there, Lupin. Very nice. And it's a good day to be a duck because it's warm today. I say warm, it's about 16 degrees, which I find warm. And these ducks probably find it warm too, so. They're cool enough. They're happy. Fishing is forbidden in here, so making that duck. Lupin. He's loving the view from up here. It's quite a big pond, isn't it? It's, a, it's not a lake, is it? Hundred percent shot where I'm going, but we'll go where the wind takes us. Maybe, just maybe, we'll see something truly magnificent and wonderful and life-changing. Like this bush. Park at Villas, apparently. Don't really look like villas, do they? They look like pretty standard British detached uh, bleh, terraced housing. If I was promised a villa and I was brought here, I'd be disappointed. Red telephone box, or is it? No, this 
there's a library. So you can go in here. Can I? Is it locked on the side? No, it's not. Doing this is on hand. Tray awkward. So you can go in here and grab a book. That's pretty cool, isn't it? percent sure how it works. Do you just take a book and you trust it to bring it back? Maybe so. The people of Navitan can be educated on how to dress. Hunger Games. Medical and Health Encyclopedia. Family Health Encyclopedia. Strategy. Norton. I mean, it's an eclectic mix. I think we're approaching the station now. Just remember, I have a memory, grade two listed building. So that should look nice, shouldn't it? I mean, I've never actually been to Nafferton train station. Never really had the desire to uh, visit here on the train, but I did actually walk here with Lupin once um, from Driffield and I went to the start in and I got a pint, but I forgot to pay for it and left. Oops. I didn't realise until like halfway back, it was too late to turn back, but I drove back later on and paid for it, so I'm not Navitan's most wanted. Yeah. So this um, rather dark looking building, is this the Grade 2 listed train station building? I'm guessing it must be. So explore it further. Look at that, that is a very retro ticket office and yet still has got Visa debit cards and stuff. American Express, a little ticket hatch. I don't think that's still in service. Number ahead, Scarborough. Yorkshire Wolves. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this is. Is it a little planter or something? Lupin? Nah. Is it Bill and Ben, the flower pot men? I think it might be. I don't know why they've painted on the wall of it dingy alley in the train station but ours is not to question why so there you go that's Nafferton train station it's pretty cute Nafferton in the bloom 25 years 2014 I love this little ticket hatch though I mean that is just really cool it's one hand on the time what you need in a train station, a clock that doesn't even tell the time. I think I have reached the um, perimeter of Nafferton. A cool little place here, Green Growers. You can buy some homegrown plants, organic veg, fruit and herbs. Some service. Nafferton is a place runs on trust. We trust you to bring that book back about strategy. We trust you to bring that book back about Gok Wan telling you what to dress. Get the book out, learn what to wear, bring it back. And here, the green growers, if you want potatoes, we trust you to pay for them and not steal organic vegetables. So you hop off the train at Nafferton. Buy some organic vegetables. Go get a book. If you've ever watched CBeebies or watched In the Night Garden, you might be aware of the um, Ponty Pines and the Wattingers that live next door to each other. And one of them wears red and the other one wears blue, like two families. Maybe they live here too. Maybe, maybe. Gonna head up here. Apparently there's a pub called the Blue Bell Inn that I've never been to before so 
Let's see if it's open and if it is, I may have a lovely half of cider. With the star in before. Not being here. This stars. Irish Jubilee room. Very old. Lots of very old places in Nefferton. The Bluebell Inn is there. It is indeed open. Hodgson's Ale House Bluebell. Didn't grab a cider. I got a Timothy Teller's landlord instead. Half off. Um, church bells. Um, might have a half at the Star Inn before I leave. I'm driving, so maybe, maybe not. This pub, the Blue Bell Inn, has a pizza oven in like an outdoor bar bit, which must be pretty cool in the summer. It's not open right now, but maybe on busier times you can grab a pizza, you can have some pints. What more could you possibly want than that? So I came to use a toilet and that's on one of them and that's on one of them. I didn't know which one to use. I'm guessing it was this one. Why not just say men and women? I mean, I don't want to go into detail about what has been signified on here, but I think it's a family pub. Um, Blue Berlin, lovely pub. Absolutely lovely. Good little, um, good choice of beers. Nice, really nice beer garden. I'd love to go there on like a pizza night, but that's really, really good. Yeah, five stars, Blue Berlin, fantastic. The toilet's a bit weird. All in all, Atherton, very beautiful place to visit for a quiet walk around, particularly on a beautiful day such as today. Put your Factor 50 on, like I've done. They said you could walk to Driffield and back from Navitin, which is quite a decently sized walk. There's lots of other beautiful walks around this area too that I imagine you can do around Navitin, how I think. I'm going the right way. No, not there. Okay, time to get the maps out. Okay, may well be running out of Navitin. Places to go to. A little bit of record down here. It's a pretty densely populated place, Nafferton. It seems to be like a village full of houses. Nafferton Recreation Club. If you like bowls, come to Nafferton and play bowls at Nafferton Bowls Club. As well as the Blue Bell Inn and the Star Inn, there is a Cross Keys Inn, which I've not been to before. So I may pop into here instead of the Star Inn. Half a cider, lovely jubbly, Aspel. <sighs> lovely jubbly. Um, the issue was, it's minimum spend on a card. So the cider was £2.10, so I had to buy not one, not two. Not three. Not four bags of crisps. Which is fine, because I'll just take them home. That's a lot of crisps. And it was a struggle carrying them, as well as looping and the drink to outside. But all good. Cross keys. Nice pub. Bee Garden's nice. I'll show you a bit more of that. Um, good choice of beers again. I think you can get food here. You've got like a little dining area bit. Yeah, very nice. Nothing, killing it. Decent little beer garden. Little sun trap. It's a bit windy, but the sun's nice. That beer garden is absolutely ideal. You can sit in the shed and in the sun. Lupin is going to have a lay down in the sun. Right on cue. He's a good boy. He's had a nice walk, haven't you, Lupin? Do you like Nuffet and Lupin? Yep. Yeah. The last cool place to show you in Nuffet is the Star Inn. Now, this is not just a pub. You can also get a takeaway from here, like a Greek mezzo takeaway. It's really cool. I've got like new Saka and Meze. You can also have it in as well, but you can also have it as a takeaway. Get a Greek banquet for four people, pre-book it. Dog friendly. 
lovely place to star in. I'm not going to go in today because I've already had two hours, so let's check in. But yeah, highly recommended. Go to the star in and enjoy some Greek food in the heart of East Yorkshire. Just remember to pay for it. Mm. I'm over encumbered with crisps and it's really awkward. Like I ate two packet of crisps um, sat outside that pub with half a pint, which I didn't really want to do because it's a bit overkill, isn't it? Two packet of crisps with half a pint. But it was easier than carrying four bags of crisps back to the car. Eey, I don't know, I don't know, Lupin. What are we gonna do? Bring cash? That's the answer, isn't it? So, so what do you think of Natherton? Natherton, lovely place. Yeah, it's, as I said a couple of times in the video, it's a village, but it's, it's a big village. Um, it's like a small town. You've got quite a few pubs there. You've got the recreation club. Get your nails done. I mean, I didn't go in, but they do like therapy, like beauty treatments and stuff, which you don't often find in a village. So I highly recommend it. Go for a walk around Atherton on a lovely day. You can get some food there, you can go for a drink, and you can just have a lovely walk around the countryside, the surrounding areas of Napperton. You could easily spend a nice afternoon there, a nice day in Napperton. Go look around the mere, just enjoy the peace and tranquility of a beautiful East Yorkshire village. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll be visiting some more UK towns and villages around the area. Um, I haven't made a plan yet, don't know where I'm going to go, but I guess that's part of the fun, isn't it? Skipsy, um, that's on the, oh, as you can guess, it's by the sea. Tiny little seaside village, so that's probably going to be next on the agenda, but of course I'll let you know. I am totally aware that I definitely need to get a better microphone because the traffic sounds and everything it pretty much drowned out all the audio at some parts. Um, so yeah, I am looking for a better microphone to hopefully drop most of that out. Okay, thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye.